All right, good afternoon and GM guys. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna start doing a series of video blogs, I think, you know, talking from the heart, um, talking about, you know, the things I wanna talk about and whatnot, and, and also things that you wanna talk about. So for example, today I wanna talk about um, how to find your life's calling. Now, this is something that I've stressed over for, that I had stressed over for a while. Um, not anymore, but uh, before, yeah, I definitely stressed a bit over the topic, just because there were so many opportunities out there. Um, and, I, and, and I have so many interests, right? But, um, you know, there are many ways to kind of uh, get some hints about, you know, what's your real life purpose or life mission or life project is or or should be you know um but i think um you know one way to really to really i mean this is not a short-term solution but to really find it to really drill down on it in my opinion is to write and to write online so in the early days of the internet um or i don't know i don't know if it's really the early days but you know the 2000s and so um, I, I wrote blogs and stuff. I published stuff online, um, and yeah, really, it, re it was really interesting. I created a, a community around my writing and um, met some great people, and it really helped hone my thoughts and ideas on where I wanted to focus. And it's really led me to the point where I am now, where I'm working on something, you know, local Solana and Open Peer that could have a huge, huge impact. Um, you know, not, you know, on the world, as well as towards me achieving what I consider to be my life project or life goals. So, yeah, I think writing and writing in public, right? And writing from the heart, right? It's not enough to just kind of throw together some stuff and have uh, chat GPT, you know, put in its thoughts. <laughs> which can be helpful at times, right? But that's not enough. You have to write from your heart because people can tell when you're not doing it, right? And this is something I see, uh, for example, on X a lot. I see people often from the developing world, young people uh, who want to break into think, to tech, to Web3, uh, to things like that. And they're just kind of writing the same old, same old stuff, you know? Um, and what happens when, when, when a person does that is they kind of fall into obscurity. They fall uh, into the mean, you know, it's just kind of average and it just kind of gets skipped over. So that's why, you know, and especially if, in my case, being vulnerable has been very hard, <laughs> uh, cause I'm, I'm a survivor of childhood, uh, abuse. Um, but I'm, I, I think I'm getting better at it now, and I think it's, that's an absolutely essential ingredient uh, for your content and your interactions, is to be vulnerable, to confess your weaknesses, to confess your fears, um, you know, to be, to be transparent um, to a high degree. You know, not necessarily fully, but, you know, to, to a significant degree, uh, because people can relate to that. People think, you know, maybe that uh, the content game or, or building relationships is all about just putting out tons and tons and tons of content. But it's not about that. It's about putting out quality content that people can relate to. And people don't, don't really form relationships with brands or even maybe pseudonyms or anons the same way they do with people who have a name and a face. Yeah. So um, I think that's really your key to find your life's calling is to write stuff, create stuff, put your thoughts out there and do it with, with, from the heart, with sincerity, with transparency, transparency and with vulnerability. Yeah. So yeah, in my case, um, yeah, I would say, you know, my, my life's calling is to uh, really erode a lot of the barriers, hopefully all of them, that get in the way of everyone accessing uh, part of the, the pie of prosperity. You know, wherever you are in the world, uh, whatever you're doing, you know, 
I think every, everybody deserves a shot. And today, we don't have that. A lot of the wealth flows all the way to the top. And a lot of us are, are slaving away, you know, figuratively and maybe even literally in some cases. And uh, that's not cool. That's not cool. So I'll be expanding on these ideas, and I welcome your ideas as well. And uh, let's keep building.